Welcome parents and students to East Forsyth High School Culinary Arts. My name is Chef Suzanne Smith. I was born in Jamaica. I've been teaching for 20 years. I have taught in Florida and Georgia. I have also taught at the Art Institute of Tampa, Austin, and Houston. Florida International University North Miami campus and their China campus. I have two culinary degrees, a bachelor's degree in education, a master's in hospitality management, and a specialist in curriculum and instruction. I also have my online teaching endorsement. My pride and joy is my son who will be 11 this year. Culinary Arts Pathway. The three classes in the pathway are Introduction to Culinary Arts, Culinary Arts 1, and Culinary Arts 2. After all three classes are taken, it is recommended that students do work-based learning to gain industry experience. If they do not wish to do work-based learning, Forsyth County also offers internship. Introduction to Culinary Arts. What will the students learn? They will learn safety and sanitation, equipment use and cleaning, knife skills, math, standardized recipes and measurement, nutrition, cooking methods, professionalism and employability skills, the different food groups and how to store and cook them, sustainability, professionalism, professional organizations, and RCTSO, FCCLA, front and back of the house, history and philosophy of food service organization. When they have finished introduction to culinary, they will move on to culinary arts one and two. That will be offered the following year in a block class. They will learn, serve safe, and take the review and exam. They will review knife skills, restaurant management, nutrition, and menu planning, escalated baking and pastry, professionalism and employability skills, garmage, escalated cooking skills, CTSO and professional organizations, front and back of the house skills, history and philosophy of food service operation, and improve on the skills learned in Introduction to Culinary Arts. Classwork. The syllabus and grading policy are both posted in its learning and linked to the planner. There is a welcome parent letter for informational purposes. There is also lab rules that need to be signed and returned by both parents and students. In the its learning platform, I post assignments in the planner. If a student is absent, they can see what is done daily for each unit and worksheets and assignments are linked under resources. There is also a Dropbox provided to submit work so they don't get a late grade. Please review makeup policies in syllabus. It's very important, especially if a student is absent from labs, that they make up their labs. This will be done at home on their own time with their own products. Expectations. I expect students to be on time to class, work on task, and put their phones away unless we're using them for BYOT. There will be no horseplay in the lab. This is very important and disciplinary matters will be taken if there is. We have knives and large equipment that could cause harm. Complete online work that is assigned before class meets include printing, work as a team and be respectful and kind to each other. Lab days, as they are very difficult to make up, please be here. All students are required to purchase closed toe non-skid shoes as part of their uniform. These should be bought before mid-September. Lockers will be provided for students to store these shoes. Lab fees for Introduction to Culinary is $30 for the year and Culinary 1 and 2, $40. These are due first week in September. Please use My Payments Plus or a check made out to EFHS Culinary Arts. RCTSO associated with Culinary Arts is FCCLA, Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. In this organization, we have opportunities to advance leadership potential and students may obtain scholarships. 
we participate in STAR events, which are a competitive event, as well as state events in culinary arts. We do many community projects. We work with the place, we work with a nursing home, we work with Meals by Grace and other organizations to provide community service to our community. We feel, and I believe, that giving back is better than receiving. We also do fun CTSO activities in and out of school. Meeting dates and times will be announced. Club dues are $15 for state and national. One-time fee. Please use mypaymentsplus.com or checks to EFHS FCCLA. Pathway completers. Career pathway awards include seal of completion, seal of distinction, pathway scholar medallion. A student must finish three classes in the pathway and follow the criteria. For seal of completion, students must complete all three classes in the pathway. For seal of distinction, complete all three classes in the pathway, be a member of the CTSO organization for two years, which is FCCLA, have a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.0, and pass the end of pathway assessment, which for culinary arts is NOCTI. Our medallion is similar to our distinction, complete all three classes, GPA, end of pathway test, as well as two world languages, uh, two advanced placement courses, which I believe also include dual enrollment, and become a member of National Technical Honor Society, National Art Honor Society, National Honor Society, or Thespian Society. Any of these are acceptable. You may join in your junior year, depending on the organization. When students have completed all of the criteria and pathways, then they will notify their counselor they're eligible for the pathway award. They are to complete the form. I will sign off as the required teacher and sponsor that they have met the criteria and the form will be turned into counselors. Communication. On my dashboard is Remind 101 information for my class and CTSO FCCLA. I have created a Remind 101 for each cohort to streamline grade level and CTSO communication. Please sign up for the appropriate cohorts in order to receive important messages, updates, information, etc. My email is ssmatt at foresight.k12.ga.us, best way to contact me. When students are sharing information on Google with me, that email is ssmatt at foresightk12.org. The school phone number is 770-888-1235. My extension is to be determined. All correspondence to Chef Matt, that's me, will be replied within 24 hours of receipt. Again, email is the best way to contact me. Other communication. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Those that came to open house, thank you for coming. I expect a great year with your students and you. Donations are always welcome. Boxes of tissue, laundry detergent pods, gift cards to Kroger, Walmart, etc. Further communication. East Forsyth High School is opening in fall 2021. Let's connect. Uh, there is Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, hashtag, and our school website. Hope to see you soon. Come join our herd. Have a, we're going to have a great year.